Welcome back to Aegis Adventures in Minecraft. Today it's episode 68. Almost 69. I cannot wait for it. <laughs> but first we're gonna make something. Um, sorry, need to hit that crafting box. We need some sticks and we can turn this into a bow. You're probably wondering what do you need with a bow. Well, let's make a furnace, but not a furnace. Let's put a bow in there, put some redstone in there. What do we get? A dispenser! We're gonna take this dispenser with us. And we're gonna set up a little something right outside the door. I think, uh, let's see, this would be a nice location. Let's get rid of this torch and so of this one. And we need some trapdoors. One right over there. One right over there. And we need two pistons. One standing on this block. One standing on that block. Let's move them like this. And we move this one over on that block. Come on. Almost had you there. Great. And we can take these blocks out. And we need one more. Right over here. And then we put our mailbox on there. And now we just need to decorate the sides a bit. So we put that trapdoor on there and that one on there. And we push them up. And there we go. There's our little blue mailbox. It's not as nice as I would have wanted, but well, it's a dispenser, so what what can you do with it? So I just have these sides to cover it up. And this means that I now have a mailbox. And what do I plan to do with this mailbox? Well, I want to do some some answers, some, some answering of comments in my uh, Let's Play series. I want to just uh, integrate it a bit. Maybe some uh, private messages that I get. Just read them out loud. And yeah, got a nice mailbox there. So I could put some books in there and put some comments on there. And well, I can read out the messages and maybe leave a little reminder of that inside the game. So I'm gonna do that once every several episodes, not every episode, because that would just take too much time of me to prepare all that, to type in the messages and stuff, but I think it's a nice idea if you like it. So what kind of messages do I read out? Well, I just pick them out, um, pick out comments that I like, questions that are regularly asked, so it's easy to give a quick answer to, but also some personal questions and whatever. Anyways, um, today I want to go on a trip because with the new update we got some new terrain features. We got, we got temples in the desert, we got ruins in the jungles, and we got emerald ores. And I want to find all of those. I don't know if I'm able to find any of that today, but I'll do my best. Anyways, I got my bread on me, got torches, got some weapons, equipment, so I should be fine for now. And I just need to stock up on some water. And I do have some water upstairs, and I got some ender pearls. And I crafted some basic iron armor, and I could bait, I could uh, put an enchantment on that. Let's see if I can get a level 11 enchantment on something. It would always be great to have an enchanted armor piece extra and with level 11 you can get some nice enchantments as far as I know let's see a little bit higher come on 10 that gave me yeah there it is 11 I got some fire protection always good so just level one. Oh, oh what the heck did I do this is not a door this is a, yeah it is a door but it's not one you have to open by hitting it it's just a, a piston door it's fully Activated, automated, and all. Anyways, um, let's get out of here. I want to explore a little bit, and I want to go into that 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 direction over there, and see what we can find behind the jungle. And I'm gonna take the scenic route that goes above ground because my underground train tunnel is still boring. I might um, open up my server maybe sometime soon during a live stream and have my fans. Oh my, my people that watch me on live stream help me out decorating that tunnel. I think that would be great. Um, but I think I need to prepare a whole lot of items for that. So I could also use them as slaves and gather items for me. Who knows? <laughs> that would be, I think, a lovely idea. Anyways, I had a live stream last week on Sunday. 
I did it like on impulse, like I, I was faking, well, I got some time over, so let's just do a live stream and well, some of you weren't able to be there, I'm sorry for that, I'll try to do more live streams, I do plan to do one this weekend, but not next weekend, because next weekend is gonna be my birthday, and I'm gonna turn 28, and if you wanna congratulate and send me a gift or something, well, I'm sorry you cannot really send me anything, because I don't like like post my private uh, address on here, but maybe I could uh, like do something that if you really feel like, oh, I want to give him a present or maybe just send him a, a card or whatever. I could see if I can organize something cool so you can all celebrate my birthday. <laughs> but I don't think I'm that big of an important person that I would get like tons of birthday greetings and stuff. I never got get birthday cards. Like maybe one or two from some family members who are really into making cards and stuff and like send everybody they know cards, but not too many. I do not have a large, well, I do have quite a large family, but not a lot of people that are like still coming to my birthday. They are like really far away family like like uncles and, and aunts and nephews that I haven't really been in touch with lately I haven't really been in touch with a lot of people lately but yeah um, I invited my parents my brother my sister and my sister's friend over for my birthday and I'm gonna ah sorry mail okay mail is turned down where was I well I inv invited my grandparents too so we should have some people around my birthday. I'm also gonna celebrate my birthday with some close friends a little bit later on. So they are invited as well. Still have to call them up though, but I will like do that maybe a week later or something. So I don't have to prepare the house like several times and do a lot of cleaning and dishes and stuff because I kind of hate it and I always well slack off on doing that. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're in the jungle. I think I explored up to around here so over on the other side of that mountain should be fairly new terrain maybe unexplored even and I hope I can find some cool stuff over on that side of the mountain because this is all brand new and I hope I find some jungle ruins so we can explore those or who knows maybe I find a desert or something oh there's new terrain still being generated look at that so this is the old terrain, that's new terrain. Ouch! That was a huge drop. But I got some good boots, I mean, these boots are made for walking, but also for falling. <laughs> wow, look at that. Please, terrain, start generating a bit quicker. Well, I could go down there and I'm like, I need the extreme hills biomes. Let's see if I can spot something unusual. No, I didn't spot anything. Well, great train is now generated we can just go ahead and not be distracted by stuff that is like hovering inside the ground and I can see through it and, and all oh these these jungles are so hard to navigate I hope I can find like a ruin somewhere and the size of these jungles they they are just extra oh did I see something no it's just ah I hope I spot something um, this is the end of the jungle, there's just uh, a normal forest, I'm not gonna go into that direction. I'm gonna keep continuing going through the jungle a bit more, like seeing if I can find something cool on that side of the jungle maybe, who knows. Lots of cows, lots of pigs, okay. So let's continue, and there's some high mountains. I could also check out those high mountains, there's zombies underneath here, so should be caves. I'm still on the lookout for some stone structures, cobblestone maybe, who knows. So I really like to also take those new blocks that you get in jungle uh, ruins, like the square blocks that are really rare and you cannot craft them. You can only find them in ruins. Ooh, that's deep. Uh, let's not get in there. Um, okay, come on. Continue walking, not get distracted by random holes. Those holes are never as nice as other holes. <laughs> Let's get over here. I hate navigating through this thick wooden woody things like forests full of wood. Uh, oh that's a nice open clearing. The clearing is always open and a big huge mountain. 
That's one giant mound. Let's get on top of it. See if we can spot something unusual. Oh, these mountains are just really, really, really tall. Oh, we got a nice vantage point. Let's see if we can, like, make out something in the distance that would pique our interest. An enderman, still there. Ah. Hmm, nothing really over here. Maybe a bit further. Ooh. I think these jungle ruins are just really hard to find. See some stone, but nothing really interesting. Let's head over there. I could always check out to uh, the desert. Maybe there's something around the desert. This isn't looking like desert at all. Looks like there's sea. Hmm. It's not good. I don't want to go to sea. Uh, let's go a bit further. Oh, there's more land. Let's go into that direction. See if we can find some tall mountains or something. And it's easier to travel over land. What? Oh, I forgot to look at my hit points. Well, that's a great way to die. If only I can find this uh, location back. I don't even know which location I am on. I cannot hit F3. Um, okay. We have to randomly make our way over there now. That's not good. So I'm gonna try and see if I can somehow find it. Oh, that was really stupid of me. Anyways, I stacked up on some armor and I got some swords that I still had in my chest. A lot of golden swords, but well, they only last as this long. So I'm gonna run through them really quick if I encounter a lot of mobs. So I really hope I can find this place back. I do have a lot of bread on me so I can keep sprinting like all the way almost there. Ooh, that's a lot of... Oh, that's the new texture for sand. Well, it's the biome color for sand and the biome colors are really like... Look over here, these biome colors, they are so brownies. Uh, I, I, I think I'll have to tweak these biome colors a bit because this is just too much, too, too brown and I don't really like it at all. Anyways, um, there's a jungle overhead. I'm just gonna flash a quick forward uh, some of this so you don't have to see me walk all the way. I must say, Jeb has done a good job at making these jungles just really huge mazes and the size of them. Whoa. But I'm not that stupid. I'm smart. I'm on the other side of the jungle now. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a boat and I'm gonna sail around it. Let's make some wood. And put down the crafting bands. And we're gonna make a boat. Because boats are fun. And let's take that crafting bands with us. You never know when you need it. Like, you always need it. I know for sure. So, let's go sailing. Sailing? I don't have a sail. Let's just go... Rowing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merry, 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 merry. I just hate these squids because they have tentacles. Alright. Jungle rivers. Jungle rivers going on and on forever. Jungle river. That's the first time I ever see cocoa beans. Great! <laughs> All right, let's continue along this water because I know for sure that somewhere really, really close, my items must be lying around. It's a desert. That's great. But we need to go further. We get very much further. I should be close now. I should be really, really close. Like, I've traveled so much now. Ooh, there's sea. There's a little island popping up. I think we might find our stuff somewhere a little bit further along that way. Alright. I see a familiar sight. No, that's not familiar at all. Um, I'm really getting lost. It looks like I found a total new jungle. Like this part I haven't been to. Um, I, in my opinion, I need to go more that way. Let's do that. Let's just head a bit into that direction until we are 
Maybe at that lantern. Um, that could be the mountain that I end ride on. And then I went over there, this direction. I saw water indeed. Um, water is starting to generate here. Wow. Okay, so I had this on my side maybe. Did I walk around along this side and then... Wow, how big can this mountain, this jungle be? Really, really, really. Hmm, this seems all new to me. This. There's some big mountains again. If only I had some landmarks that I could like focus on. Like, I know for sure that I've been through here and through there. With normal flat terrain, you get loads of those landmarks. It's like that single tree sticking out there and that little crater in the ground and that ravine. But in these jungles, like everything is the same, you usually lose a uh, sense of direction, that too. And like these jungles, they like connect to each other, and then suddenly you are at another jungle that you didn't expect to be in, and then there's another jungle, and then you are in another jungle again, and they always go on and on forever. This looks like it's going somewhere familiar. I might be have been over on that side. I don't know how long I have walked now, but it must be like, wow, yeah. This certainly looks familiar. Get me through here. My items must be waiting there on this island or something. Yeah, it was somewhere over there. I think I tried to end a pull over to that island. And there's where my stuff must be. I need to make it. I need to make it before it's disappearing. That little island in the sea. I know it has to be there. It has. Wow. I cannot believe it. I found the bag. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. It must be here. Please be here. Be here. Be here. Please. 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 Items. Items appear. I. Ah. Uh, yes. It is! It is here! Indeed! <laughs> Everything is still here! My good eggs, my good enchanted boots, my anapoles, my bucket, my helmet! Ah! Wow, great! Let's check. I had this piece of equipment, fire protection, some boots, I have a um, torch, I have an axe, I have a pickaxe. I did have an, an, an diamond sword. Where is it? It must still be around here. In the water maybe? Let's dive for it. Is my uh, diamond sword around here? Yeah, there it is. Ah, <laughs> I'm so happy. Ah, and more and the pearls too. I think I found everything now. I got like, I had like three stacks, four stacks of torches. And got an extra set of iron stuff. What else do I have? Well, I got most of my stuff back now. It should be everything that I needed. Let's put my stuff in here. Okay, let's not forget to eat. Now we found the jungle bag. Um, this is probably not gonna go towards the desert. But I'll check it out anyways. I must be so, so far away from home now. I have been walking like for a full day and maybe also a full night almost. Sprinting mostly. And we need to find ourselves a desert to our huge hills, like a, a giant hill by own, like huge mountains. And then we can go scout for emeralds. Yeah, whoa, look at all those skeletons, like four or five of them. Okay, this is calling for attack. <laughs> Great, give me all your bones. <laughs> ah, great. You do? Okay, you can die too. I'll take everything you got. Um, let's see, where's this heading? There's water on both sides. That look doesn't look like a desert, looks more like a big beach. And there's snow. Okay, that's not the right way. Let's go into a different direction now. Oh, 
So far on the water. Oh, that doesn't help me at all. Really? I need to get out of here before I die of bad bread. <laughs> lack of bread. Not, not lack of bread. I do have a lot of bread, but bread. Hmm. Not much over here. Only green. I see so much green. So many shades of green. It's too many shades of green. Even that skeleton agrees with me. He agrees with me. Oh, at least I made it through here. Found an oh, wow! We found a village. Great. Let's go plunder that village and take all their resources. Like, what? What does a village have nowadays? Not too much. Ah, oh, that looks interesting. Nice little cozy village. Nice little hillside village. I hope this is not the village that is like really close to my base. It looks like it. But it's a bit different, I think. Oh, look, there's a track. Hmm, interesting. Hello there, Mr. Villager. Okay, well, that was... <laughs> we went 180 degrees and we were back at the same spot where we left off. Almost. That's not great at all. <laughs> so much for exploring. Oh. Yeah, thank you for making those jungles so really, really annoying. I'll just go along it, alongside it. We'll find a desert here somewhere. I know. I know there's. Uh, I need to eat. Give me some of this delicious bread. Why is the jungle like everywhere? It's not fun anymore. I'm tired of seeing these jungles without. Anything interesting in them to be worth checking them out. Like, they go on forever. I think I'll just have to go straight through. And then make my way over to the other side of the jungle. I hope there's something cool. Maybe. Okay, let's just go straight through this one. See where we will end up then. Is this the desert? Is that the, this is the desert that I found earlier. Let's check out the desert. I think those desert uh, temples are easier to find than like these jungle things. And I've, yeah, look at that. These t <laughs> they are indeed easier to find. As soon as I just enter the desert, there's like a temple. Wow, this is great. Now, I need to be really careful because I know for sure there is a trap in here. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna claim all this sandstone. I'm just gonna rip this thing out of the ground, take all the sandstone here with my Sutbats pickaxe. I'm breaking. Let's see, let's explore them. There's two towers, and they connect to this thing here. Then there's this bit of interesting blue wool, and there's a lot of orange wool. Oh, they look great in this texture pack, except for these stones. They, they, mm, I still need to work on those. Mm. Oh, wow. Interesting. Anyways, um, let's stick around here a bit. Let's see where this ends up. A lot of sandstone. Oh, I'm, I'm loving this already. All the sandstone. <laughs> Great. That's not sandstone. That's just normal stone. Okay, wow. So here's the, the, the stuff that I'm waiting for. The cool resources. Let's see if we find some emeralds in here. Wow. This pig is insane. This is the best pick to mine sandstone with. All right, let's uh, let's take this one out before it like detonates the trap, like all this TNT. Uh, let's take this TNT too. TNT is like represent already. And let's see, what do we get? We got some bones. Don't need bones. I could use the gold, rotten flesh. So much of it. Lots of gold. A bit of iron. Let's, let's just leave it. And more gold. And four pieces of iron. I, I might even take this iron with me, but I don't really feel like doing it. I, I would even leave this here. And no, not that X. Let's leave this and this and this and this and this. And let's leave the arrows. I'll just take all the, the sandstone here. Like <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Like a machine gun. All the sandstone, so much of it. This is amazing. I love this pig so much. <laughs> How fast is it? It's an efficiency 4. 
breaking three that too well at this rate it's still gonna break really quick okay let's see how we, how we can get up yeah I can really use all of this sandstone for some of my future builds ah, that doesn't work that fast yeah we got that okay now we need to make our way up again come on let me jump like navigating has become so much diff more difficult now oh there goes my light source let me take all of this oh sand oh cool let's put up light 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 there we go and let's take all of this and run <laughs> like a machine gun <laughs> i'm gonna desecrate this whole ruin nothing is gonna be left of it anyway <laughs> Ah, look at this. Ah, ah, gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> wow. Well, there, Jeb, thank you for these new ruins. Like, look at all the, the sandstone that I took with me. <laughs> well, that's worth even more than all the resources that I found in here. Just, this saved me so much time digging out all of this sandstone. <laughs> and I spotted a village a little bit further along here. So I'm gonna check that out too. See if there's anything cool, at least. Stop shooting at me skeletons. Because uh, I don't have too much stuff on me anymore. I like took everything from here. Like, and dropped everything, dropped almost all my swords. Because I, I'd rather take all of this sandstone with me. Just gathering all the sandstone by hand, it would like, take like so much longer. Because you have to dig out all of the sand first. Well, now digging the sand is a bit easier. But, well, it used to be... Wow, look at this. This is quite a large village. And there's a ravine going to it. Not, not a ravine. It's just a, a cave system or something. It looks pretty weird. Ooh. Is there a blacksmith? Is there a blacksmith? No. Look at, look at the... Like, the whole sand collapsed down. And, like, none of them can escape here. There's so much houses here. This is a rather huge village. And there is hills. Big hills. Well, I'm gonna head home first. I'm gonna deposit all of this sandstone. But I now kind of know in which direction I have to look to, to find this uh, stuff. So I'll probably come back here and check out those hills. And maybe check out the village too. Oh, scary. See if we can get a nice trade going on. Like, what do we have to trade? Hmm. You put enchantments on it, like efficiency one. That's not a good enchantment, at least not for the money you are offering. Um, let's make our way back. There's our little destroyed temple. There's nothing left of it anymore. It's a ruin now. Let's uh, head back home. We will go explore some of that next uh, episode. Home, sweet home. I'm so glad to be home. And just a second, I just need to do one more thing before we are done. Okay, before I end this episode, I want to go to my Hall of Fame, my Wall of Fame. And here are the people that are like important to me, like being awesome and, and all, and help me along with this channel. And I added two new signs on here. Like, Duckham was here for the first sign. He gets the best plays because, well, he inspired me most about how to do my Let's Play series, how to interact with people. Tyken has been a great help. He, like, pushed me to do an LP. I've been, uh, I know him personally, and we have cooperated on his LP. And he helped me setting up my LP series and getting me a lot of attention. So he's a great help for me. And I recently added a beast squeaker here for helping me with a channel background. That's his design. And I also added Myro Frost on here. And he is helping me out with the live streaming. He helped me set it up and he was a guest appearance on my last live stream. And if you want to check him out, he has a channel too. I think it's Lounge Gaming, but I'll post a link to that in the description. So check him out too. And that's all I want to say for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice day. Goodbye. See you later. Adios. Amigos.
Goodbye.